Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is another 6x6 paper project and actually I hadn't intended in putting this one out today. Um, I had plans for different videos coming out this week and then I had an email from Anita who wanted um, a specifically sized box for some soaps that she was wrapping to sell for Macmillan Cancer Charity and so I said I would very quickly put together a project for her and get it out as soon as possible because her stand is this weekend coming. So that's why we're coming out on Monday with another 6x6 project. But it's very cute. Now this one I did using the flower pot paper and it's very much, it's a friends one as you can see it's got friends written and I'm going to do a Christmas version. So I have my Simply Scored scoring tool here and I'm just flipping open my notes because they've closed themselves. And this is the beautiful new designer series paper from the Christmas catalogue. And as you go through it, it's right at the front called Under the Tree and it's a specialty paper and it's actually cardstock weight. So, I don't know, there you go, it's cardstock weight. It's actually even thicker than some of our cardstocks. Um, but I think it's so gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Anyway, um, it's a six by six piece of paper, 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter. And it's very similar to one I made the other day. So you score it at one inch, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half inches, which is two and a half, seven, nine and a half, and 14 centimeters. And you turn it round and you score it at one inch, and then at three and five eighths of an inch and at five inches, which is two and a half, nine and twelve and a half centimetres. And when it's completed, it measures one and three quarters by one inch by two and five eighths, which is um, in metric, which is what Anita wanted, four and a half by two and a half by six and a half centimetres to that point. So her little soap bars fit in, will fit in this part in the top. It's just prettiness factor. Okay, move that out of the way and come along and fold all your score lines which you can probably actually, see. oh no you can't see them at all. I can see them much better <laughs> on the craft side. This card is lovely. It really is gorgeous. I can see myself using it a lot. A lot, a lot. So, fold all of those. Okay, so the bottom of your box, you've got two that are close together and then a big section and another part. This is the bottom. So trim away the little rectangle and then cut up your score lines. And then this section here at the very top, not this one, this one just here, where you've got a skinny rectangle and then a wide one, we need to keep that wider one because that's going to form the flap that comes over. So trim off the skinny, leave the large and then get rid of all of the rest because we just don't need it. Slip it to one side. I'm mean, going to want to round my corners. Where have I put my... There's my cap. Corner round. I've lost it for a second. There we go. And then the pieces to stick. Well, obviously, that's going to form over. So grab your adhesive. Now, because this is cardstock weight, you do need something strong like fuse or like sticky strip. Fold over and close. And then fold in your two sides. This is the back. And this one's going to be the front. And then pinch in these sides and it will stop where you've got this score line here. It won't actually go any further because you've put resistance in. And then fold that over and clip it how you want. I've used one of the in colour uh, clothes pegs here. These are the plain ones and you get a big old bag of them and they are just called clothes pins. They're bigger than the metallics. Um, without getting my head in the camera, let me just reach round and get the metallic ones. So, you know, considerably bigger than those. And because it's cardstock weight and because it wants to pop itself open, that's why I've got a bigger one. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it doesn't want to stay shut! Oh my goodness. There we go. 
it's literally firing across the desk. <laughs> Close. There we go. Okay. So my stamping. Now this one I used the Peace, Love and Cupcakes. I can't think what it was called. But because we're going on the whole Christmassy thing here, I've got the Merry Everything set, which is one of the stamp and punch bundles, which I highly recommend to everybody. And I've already got it out. I've already got it prepped on a block somewhere. Oh, right next to me. <laughs> I've chosen this one, a very merry everything to you and to yours. And I've got Cherry Cobbler. And I'm actually stamping onto Crumb Cake. Okay, right, this is the first time I've used this stamp and punch. Which way round do I want it? That way. Nothing like brand new punching and stamping on camera. There we go. Got to stamp the newness off a stamp, haven't you? Okay. Punch that out. And then grab some yeah, rhinestones, I think, because I like the rhinestone effect on there, actually. A paper piercing tool. You can tell I've got nothing prepped, can't you? I did, I have kind of got stuff prepped, but Chris has just gone off to get the children from school and I'd forgotten that I was meant to be filming this afternoon. I got a little bit caught up um, writing out a newsletter for the team and then suddenly thought, oh yeah, that was the other thing I was meant to do today. <laughs> do some filming. So I've quickly scrambled to set my tripod up and off he's gone. Okay, so that on there. Oh, should we have some more? Yeah, why not? Little ditty ones, I think. On there. And there. And that is a Christmassy version of this non Christmassy box, especially for Anita. But as I said before, I've told you the dimensions. I'll make sure they're written on the blog as well. Great for other little things. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.